In other whiteboard drawings in the Dial Plan playlist, we discuss route patterns, partitions, calling search spaces, route lists, and how they are used to build a Cisco Dial Plan. This whiteboard drawing discusses building an internal dial plan based on a UC8.x SRMD for deployments using the North American Numbering Plan. After this drawing, we'll do one for external dial plans. Let's draw our example network. We'll have our UC cluster in Toronto where we'll use five-digit internal dialing. We'll put two phones here with extensions 57001 and 57002. We'll have two remote sites one in Hamilton and another in Winnipeg. The remote sites and headquarters are connected via a WAN and the PSTN. The remote sites both use four-digit dialing. We're going to illustrate overlapping extensions. We'll have phones in both Hamilton and Winnipeg with extensions 4001 and 4002. It's vital that you understand the issues surrounding overlapping extensions if you're going to manage a telephony deployment with multiple sites. There are a number of strategies we can use to configure extensions. The simplest and most intuitive strategy is to put the extension on the line. For our Toronto phones, the directory numbers assigned to the lines will be 57001 and 57002. For Hamilton and Winnipeg, the directory numbers assigned to the lines would be 4001 and 4002. Sometimes simplest is not the best, and this is one of those cases. Let's see how this works out. A very important concept in the call manager is the external phone number mask. You can figure this on the line and the mask is used to generate caller ID on calls to external numbers. In our drawing for calls via the PSTN. We discussed this concept in our dial plan hierarchy video. In our example network, the mask for Toronto is 416-555-XXXX. In Hamilton, 905 555-4-XXX and in Winnipeg it's 204-555-4-XXX. Question. Can we put all the DNs in a single partition? Say the internal partition? No. We cannot have the same extensions configured on different lines with the same partition. We must use separate partitions to deploy overlapping extensions. Let's deploy a separate internal partition for each site. The TO internal partition for Toronto, the HA internal partition for Hamilton, and the WPG internal partition for Winnipeg. Now can we call between sites? No we can't. Not unless we have calling search spaces that let us. Now let's build a single calling search space, the internal calling search space and we'll put all three partitions in it. Now imagine all the phones have this calling search space. What happens if extension 4001 is dialed from 57001? From 4002 at the Winnipeg site. What happens? In both cases, 4001 at the Hamilton site is going to ring because its partition is first in the list. Review the calling search spaces and partitions whiteboard drawing if this seems confusing to you. For proper calling, we need to deploy a variable length on net dial plan as described in the UC8.x SRND. Here's the description from page 99 of the SRND. Systems with many sites or overlapping site extension ranges can benefit from the use of a variable length dial plan with the following characteristics. Within a site, the system retains the use of abbreviated dialing for calls to on-net extensions, for example, four-digit dialing. Between sites, users dial an access code followed by a site code and the destination's on-net extension. Off-net calls require an access code followed by a PSTN number. Within each of our sites, we'll use abbreviated dialing. At Toronto, 5-digit dialing, and at Hamilton and Winnipeg, 4-digit dialing. To dial between sites, we'll use an access code, plus a site code, plus the extension at the site, and we'll use a translation pattern to translate to the local number at the site. For our external dial plan, we reserve 9 as an access code. For our internal dial plan, we'll use 8. Question. What does that mean for our extensions? They can't start with 8. Our extensions can no longer start with either an 8 or a 9. We 
we'll try to make dialing natural and intuitive. We'll use 8 plus a 7-digit internal number for intersite calling. 7-digit numbers are natural and easy for people to understand. Where we have 5-digit extensions, we'll use 2-digit site codes. Where we have 4-digit extensions, we'll use a 3-digit site code. Let's look at this more closely. We aren't going to use site codes starting with 0 or 1 because that gives us unnatural numbers. 8 plus a 7 digit number starting with 0 just looks wrong. Similarly, 8 plus a 7 digit number starting with 1 looks wrong. Using site code 911, that seems wrong as well. We'll use site codes 2x through 5x for larger sites using 5 digit extensions and 6xx through 9xx for smaller sites with 4 digit extensions. With this scheme, we can have about 40 large 5-digit sites and 400 smaller 4-digit sites. Let's use site code 55 for Toronto. These numbers look right. Also, in this case, we've lined the site code up with the office code, which means the user's 7-digit internal numbers will be the same as the last 7 digits of their local number. Every little bit helps. We'll use site code 601 and 602 for Hamilton and Winnipeg, respectively. We can't line up the site and office codes here, but we never thought we'd be able to do that for all of our sites, particularly where two sites have the same office code for local dialing. These numbers also look right. Great! Our numbering plan is in place. We've now developed an internal dial plan where we use 8 as an access code, plus a site code, plus the local extension for the site, we chose site code 55 for Toronto, 601 for Hamilton, and 602 for Winnipeg. Let's implement this using partitions, calling search spaces, and translation patterns. We need site-specific partitions for HQ and for each site. We already have these shown on the drawing. The TO internal, HA internal, and WPG internal partitions. We need a partition to use for dialing between sites the internal partition. We'll have site-specific calling search spaces containing the site-specific internal partition first and the new internal partition second. These will be the TO internal calling search space, the HA internal calling search space, and the WPG internal calling search space. With a site code strategy in place, let's look at how we can dial between sites using translation patterns. Translation patterns take one pattern and translate it into another. A translation pattern has a pattern, just like route patterns, in a partition. It provides for digit manipulation of both called and calling party numbers. There's a calling search space used to locate the translated number. If you match the pattern in partition, then you apply digit manipulation to the called and calling party numbers. After digit manipulation on the called number, you look for a match in the calling search space specified by the translation pattern. We need to have a translation pattern for each site. The Toronto pattern will be 855.57xxx in the internal partition. We'll discard pre-dot for the called number and look for the translated number, which will be a five-digit Toronto extension in the Toronto internal calling search space. If somebody dials 855.57001 from a line with access to the internal partition, then this pattern gets matched. We discard pre-dot for the called party number to get 57001. When we look for that number in the TO internal partition, we find extension 57001 and ring that phone. Going back to our diagram, here's the Toronto pattern. The Hamilton pattern will be 8601.4xxx in the internal partition. We'll discard pre-dot for the called number and look for the translated number, which will be a four-digit Hamilton extension in the HA internal calling search space. The Winnipeg pattern will be 8602.4xxx in the internal partition. We'll discard pre-dot for the called number and look for the translated number, which will be a four-digit Winnipeg extension in the Winnipeg internal calling search space. What happens if extension 4001 is dialed from 57001? From 4002 at the Winnipeg site. 
If you dial 4001 from 57001, you will get a fast busy because the number 4001 is not available in any of the partitions in the calling search space for 57001. If you're at the Winnipeg site and you call 4001, the phone at the Winnipeg site with the number 4001 will ring. That's because 4001 is in a partition reachable from the CSS used by Winnipeg phones. Review the calling search spaces and partitions whiteboard drawing if this seems confusing. What happens if the number 8601-4001 is dialed from 57001? The number 8601-4001 will match the translation pattern 8601.4xxx in the internal partition. The called party digit manipulation instructions say, discard pre dot so the called number will be transformed into 4001. We'll look for the number 4001 in the HA internal calling search space and find 4001 in the HA internal partition and ring that number. This is exactly what we want. Great! Our calling all works! What could be wrong with this? Check out our whiteboard drawing, Cisco Unified Call Manager Internal Dial Plan Part 2 to find out more. Thanks for watching!